Hi, I'm Dan Herbert and I'm a course developer and tutor at Point Blank Online. I've been working for over 20 years as a musician, sound designer and programmer. I released tracks in the mid-90s on Ouch, Tasty and Storm and have also worked in TV and film. In this series of tutorials, we're going to be checking out the Max for Life plugins which we've been developing here at Point Blank. These are available for you guys to download for free. Make sure you subscribe to the Point Blank YouTube channel and also check out our free sample courses at pointblankonline.net. So in this video we're going to be checking out Point Blank's new Max for Live instrument which you can download for free from pointblankonline.net. The Point Blank riser machine creates a range of sweeps which are ideal for use as ear candy in your productions but will only run on systems which have Max for Live installed along with Ableton. The device is based on synthesis techniques which we cover in the Ableton sound design course as well as the native instrument sound design course at Point Blank. So once you've downloaded the plugin you'll need to unzip it. If you want to you can load that directly into Ableton just by using your browser. So here is the Macintosh HD. Let's go to the user folder and find downloads and then we can just drag that straight into Ableton and it will load the plugin. However we can also get access to it from the devices by copying the file into a specific folder. So let's just move uh, downloads folder over there. And I'm going to locate my user folder, then into a library, then application support, then Ableton, and then Ableton's library. And we're going to open up the presets and instruments. And then within instruments, we can find Max Instrument. And that's where we copy the device into. Once that's done, if we now jump back to Ableton, go to the devices, we can then locate the plugin within Max Instrument, and there is the point blank riser. So let's drop it onto a MIDI track, and straight away it's ready to go. So I'm just going to select a two bar riser, press a key on the MIDI keyboard, and there we get a noise sweep over two bars. So let's take a quick tour of the device. The device is divided into four different sections. We have the noise section here, the envelope section, the synth section, and we also have an LFO section as well. So let's start with the noise section, and this is essentially filtered white noise. It defaults to a low pass filter, but you've got a choice here of a high pass filter, a band pass, or even a notch filter. I'm going to select band pass. This gives us a slightly more focused sound. And we can also adjust the resonance or Q, and this will help give us a more intense sound. We can also turn off the noise section by clicking on the noise button here. So let's move on to the envelope section, and this determines the direction and speed of the filter sweep, and also the shape as well. There are several different presets provided for us from this menu here, so we could choose, for example, a faller. And rather than playing my keyboard, I can just click on this button here to trigger it. And we could also have a kind of rise and fall as well. And one of the great things about this plugin is we can also specify the length, which is based on the tempo. So if we want a one bar rise and fall, or even shorter, half a bar, we can easily specify it here. Or you might want a longer build up over 16 bars, for example. Over on the left hand side of the envelope, we've got two controls here, curve up and curve down. If I just put this to simple rise. So with the curve up, we can change the shape. You won't actually see it reflected in the envelope. You'll be able to hear it. Okay, so that now goes really quickly. Or we can get it to rise up quickly and then slow up towards the end. So it gives you quite a lot of control over the shape of the envelope curve. We also have a trigger button up here, so if I click on that, it switches it to note off mode. So if I play my MIDI keyboard, I can now determine the length of the riser simply by the length of a MIDI note. Moving on, we've also got a synth section, so I'm going to just turn off the noise section. 
when both noise and synth are off you won't hear any sound so let's turn the synth on so now the envelope is routed to this synth section and it creates a riser sound we can select different waveforms so let's go to a sawtooth in fact let's just adjust this curve here and let's have it going over two bar so above the waveform we can also specify the range of the riser so we can click and drag here and bring this one down so you can tune it to the key of your track or specify a larger or smaller range below the waveform we've also got detune and voices detune will not do anything unless voices is set to a value of two or more all we can hear there is just louder however if we now get on the detune control we can now detune the two oscillators against each other or we can increase the number of voices kind of a more intense sound switch it to eight voices and we can really create some quite interesting rise sounds now typically what we do rather than listening to this dry is add some effects onto it so let's quickly set this up I'm going to open up the audio effects and uh, let's put on a phaser and then route that into something like a delay and in terms of the sound I'll just bring down that dry wet balance Give it a bit of modulation as well Kind of give a bit more interest in the stereo field. That's fine. And then I'm just going to bring down the dry wet balance of this delay and push the feedback up a touch. So let's jump back to the point blank riser. So in the synth section, we also have a couple of additional parameters uh, FM tune and FM amount. So similar to detune, FM tune won't have any effect unless you've turned up FM amount. So let's push this up a bit. Okay. So it's basically going to give us dirtier textures. I'm just going to switch this back to sine wave. So now it's creating FM based sounds, and that's why we're getting a real nice kind of crunch to the sound. And obviously if you really want to, you can automate these parameters as well. So that's the synth section. What I'm going to do now is basically switch noise back on and we're going to check out the LFO section. So again, we've got an amount down here. If I increase the LFO amount and increase the LFO frequency slightly, we'll hear it now gives a kind of wobble to the sound. <laughs> Okay, obviously increasing the amount. Or the frequency. This can be quite interesting automating these. And we've also got an envelope to frequency button here. And what this does is it routes the envelope to control the LFO frequency. So you can hear as it rises up, the frequency increases. And if we're to change the shape of this riser, let's go for a rise and fall. It's speeding up. That downward part of the envelope seems to go quite quickly, so let's just adjust the curve down control here. You can really sculpt the shape of your risers and falls using these two controls here. If you want even more control over the envelope, then you've actually got additional nodes. Okay, so we can just click here and drag them back out. You can really spend some time 
getting exactly the rise you're after. If you're going to use this method, then I suggest you switch the curve controls both to zero. Okay, you've also got some additional presets here as well, which automatically have the nodes laid out at equal points uh, across the envelope. So this is the point blank riser. Hopefully it will be useful for you in your productions, and you can either trigger it live within your sequence, or actually just use it to generate samples. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about the lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work, so basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach it online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.